Welcome to another lesson that is part of the TI30XB student course. In this lesson we will be covering Pythagoras' theorem, which states that if we know the lengths of the two perpendicular legs of a right angle triangle, A and B, we can use the formula c squared equals a squared plus b squared to calculate the length of the hypotenuse c. For example, consider a right angle triangle with a height of 4 metres and a base length of 7 metres. The length of the hypotenuse can be calculated as follows. Type 4 squared plus 7 squared and press enter. Then press second and then the x squared key to bring up the square root symbol. Press second and enter to paste the previous answer. Then press enter. The length of the hypotenuse is the square root of 65. Press the answer toggle to show that the approximate length of the hypotenuse is 8.06 metres. Note that the previous calculations could also be completed in a single command as follows. A similar procedure can be followed to find the length of a side that is not the hypotenuse. For example, in the following diagram, the unknown side length A is not the hypotenuse, and so we can rearrange the formula to make A squared the subject, so it reads A squared equals C squared minus B squared. For the right angle shown, we can calculate A in the following manner. So A has a length of 5 metres. Finally, a Pythagorean triad is a set of three positive whole numbers in which the sum of the squares of the two smaller numbers is equal to the square of the third larger number. And if this is true, a triangle which has these three side lengths must be a right angle triangle. As an example, we can check the numbers 8, 15 and 17. Since the same result is obtained, the numbers 8, 15 and 17 is a Pythagorean triad and a triangle with these three side lengths would be a right angle triangle. That's it for this lesson. Thank you.